Skytrax ranked Air France as the second best first class airline of 2003, and the exclusive La Premiere experience is almost impossible to book with points. In fact, this is not a points trip. I paid cash for this Air France La Premiere flight. However, I did only pay about a third of the cost of this amazing experience. Here's how I did it. My flight from Paris to JFK began with a business class flight from Rome. Air France business class passengers in Rome have access to the Plaza Premium Lounge. And in the air, passengers are greeted with a 3-3 layout where the middle seat is empty. The first class service begins after landing in Paris, where La Premiere passengers are met on the jet bridge and driven to the first class lounge. The La Premiere service also includes a private security screening, and passport control is performed in the lounge while you wait. The lounge is reserved exclusively for La Premiere passengers, and has more than enough space for the few passengers that will be admitted into the lounge. French beauty company Sisley operates a spa within the lounge where guests have access to a 30 minute complimentary spa treatment as well as a suite of paid treatments. The Sisley space wasn't open during my visit, but my short layover left me with just enough time to freshen up and to grab breakfast ahead of my flight to JFK. After what felt like just a few moments in the lounge, my driver arrived to pick me up and deliver me to the La Premiere flight that I've been waiting for. La Premiere cabin has room for just four passengers, seated in a 1-2-1 layout. Because I upgraded to La Premiere at check-in, I was given the last seat available, 1F. The middle seats do offer less privacy than the window seats, but once you're airborne, you can raise the center divider and close the curtains to gain some privacy. Even with the open cabin, the four-person space feels intimate and a step above the business class seating. Once seated, the 24-inch screen in front of you delivers Air France's IFE. Movie options include new Hollywood films, world films, and French language films. Noise-canceling headphones are provided to make an already quiet cabin feel even more secluded. And a touchscreen remote to control the screen rounds out the IFE options. The remote and the headphones can be found in the seat's side storage well, along with controls for the seat, overhead reading light, and center partition. As you're settling into your seat, the staff presents you with a pre-departure beverage of LPGS and a Sisley amenity kit filled with various skincare items and an eye mask. For your safety and comfort, please take a moment to watch the following safety video. After the safety video was screened, we pushed back for the eight and a half hour flight to JFK. Once in the air, the flight crew hands out menus, blankets, and pajamas. The pajamas come with slippers and a shoehorn to help with getting shoes on and off during the flight. And underneath the footrest is a storage drawer to keep your floor clear of personal items. Around an hour and a half into the trip, the flight attendant came around to take my lunch order. While my lunch was being prepared, I used that time to step away to change into the provided pajamas. Though comfortable, the pajamas were not the best of Air France's offerings. After a few minutes, the F.A. stopped by to lay out the white linen tablecloth and to guide me through the menu developed by triple Michelin star chef Regis Macron. Since this was first class, the meal service was served in well-timed out courses. I always accept caviar when offered, and then had the spring rolls to round out my starters. Skip the gazpacho and salad and pick the veal for my main dish. The veal was probably the best in-flight meal I've had yet. I couldn't decide on which dessert to choose, so the F.A. brought out both. If you'd rather not dine alone, the footrest serves as seating for a travel partner. After lunch was completed, the F.A. stopped by to provide turndown service, converting the seat into a bed with mattress topper and duvet. While there's no door on the bed, with the armrest and center dividers raised and the curtains closed, the space felt impressively private. When I woke up, I had about an hour and a half left in the flight. I declined the pre-landing snack and watched the onboard entertainment until we landed. The La Premiere service continued upon landing at JFK, where an Air France staff member met me on the jet bridge and escorted me through Immigration and Customs and on the baggage claim. 
Since I had no connecting flight, the Air France staff member helped me to the air train and thanked me for flying La Premier. Overall, the ground service, food, and privacy of La Premier is unmatched, and the exclusivity is what sets Air France's first class offering apart. However, that exclusivity is what makes booking La Premier on points impossible unless you have status with Flying Blue. La Premier does have a high dollar cost, but you can save money by buying a business fare ticket with cash, and if you're lucky, pay the upgrade cost to check in. My business class fare was $2,297 and the upgrade cost to La Premier check-in was $3,207. In total, I paid $5,504 to fly first class from Rome to JFK, saving over $10,000 off the ticket price. So while not a points trip, I did fly Air France's La Premier at a good discount. Thanks for watching.